So how's the Josh? We saw Jyotir Aditya Sindhya and Sachin Pilot here at the India Today Conclave. Now we'll hear from the young voices of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Uh, Kiran Rijiju, Minister of State for Home Affairs, and Dr. Sambit Patra. I'll start with you, Mr. Rijiju. You are in charge of internal security as the Minister of State for Home Affairs. What's your reading of the situation between India and Pakistan? Is the confrontation over? Is life back to normal? See, for any situation, the country has to act appropriately. For the ongoing situation, it will not be wise to make any kind of a specific pronouncement of the policy or any action. Whatever is there, it is before the country to see. And when the Prime Minister has given a, a clear direction and shown leadership, the country has to stand together and united. Uh, beyond that, I would not like to make any comment on the ongoing uh, situation we, which we are witnessing. What is your reading of the situation in the country at this time? There have been multiple intelligence alerts. Are you concerned about the possibility of another terror attack in the Indian heartland? See, when you talk about security, you cannot make a complete claim on anything because one mistake or one loophole can cause huge damage. But if I have to say, what is the situation like in last five years? We have not seen any kind of major terrorist attack across the country, barring few tragic incidents which are close to the borders. That's what I'm saying. But one incident can damage. That is why there's nothing to claim. But the government has to be committed to provide security to the nation and to the citizens. That is why, in terms of security achievement, you cannot make a complete claim about the situation. You it's very dynamic. You come from the Northeast. We've seen in the Northeast a big backlash against the Citizenship Amendment Bill. Are you concerned that the political gains you were hoping to register in the Northeast could be frittered away by this move of the Bharati Janata Party to push an amendment bill which is being very strongly opposed in all the Northeastern states? The situation in Northeast with regards to citizenship amendment bill is not security or, uh, or, or law and order situation. This is a political. The protest and whatever resentment shown by the people, it's a political. But if you, if you talk about security, 79% the total numbers of incidents coming down. 79% is not a small thing. It is an official record. <clears throat> if you see Assam, we have withdrawn Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Tripura, 100% Armed Forces Special Powers Act has been withdrawn. Arunachal, from 16 police stations and along the Assam ordinal boundary, to confined to only eight police stations remaining now. Manipur, barring the municipal areas, all other areas are free from Ar Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Only Nagaland continues to have this act. So it shows a lot. As I said, it's not wise on my part to make a complete claim, but if you see the statistics and the situation on the ground, 79% reduction in total numbers of incidents, killing of security forces, killing of the militants, or killing of the uh, civilians, this is a huge improvement in last five years. This is because of the way in which we are dealing to the people, we are reaching out to the people. We have changed the way in which the government of India used to deal with the problem. So this is a transformation in true sense. But as I said from the very beginning about security, I will not like to make any claim, at, especially at this juncture, because this is not a, situ a, a situation where a minister should make any kind of claim.